Good morning. My name is Abiola Champ. It is a brand new week and I know you are made for more this week. Let me begin by saying happy Women's Day to all the women in the world. As we celebrate women this week with the theme Choose to Challenge, whether you're a woman or a man, I want to encourage you as you listen to me today that you choose to challenge yourself. This week, I know you have dreams to attain, goals to achieve and plans to execute. You have hopes and aspirations for the week and my wish for you is that this will be a great week. To rock your world like a champion this week, I just want to encourage you with a thought I have titled Understanding and Managing Helpers. Understanding and Managing Helpers. You can also say when those who can help you refuse to help you. When you catch a vision, by vision I mean something visibly bigger than you, it may not take you long to discover that you need the help and support of other people to secure the resources needed to fulfill this vision. In the words of my father and mentor, Dr. Christopher Kolade, he said nobody can fulfill any vision without the support and commitment of others. In the pursuit of the One Billion Champions vision, these words drove us to seek the support and commitment of other people. From coaching executives to coaching dreamers to project-specific coaching while consistently working the CHAMP vision over the past nine years, I have discovered that people misplace the source with the channel when searching for resources needed to fulfill their God-given vision. Personally, I believe I don't have ideas, rather, I have instructions, and everything we have done so far in CHAMP is as inspired by God, the creator of the universe. Inspiring the 1 billion champions by 30th of November 2026 is equally an instruction. As champions, I believe there are five things we should note as we seek help. One is God is our source. Two, we should recognize, appreciate, and respect channels. Three, we should acknowledge status, but don't make it our source. Four, we should keep our names. And five, we should focus on relationship building. Let us take them one after the other. One, God is our source. Our skills, our work, our network, and other venues are just channels. However, the source which is God, can at any point in time decide to use other channels that we have not seen, that we have not heard, or that we have not imagined yet to make provisions available for the vision he has given to us. It is our responsibility to stay committed to working our skills, our network, and other venues as we expect God to breathe on the work we're doing to bless the works of our hands. Number two, genuinely appreciate and respect the channels, but avoid worshipping any channel. Some visionaries have entitlement mentality, so they don't appreciate the little support they get, especially when the support doesn't meet their expectation. You can always overappreciate what you get, but without much drama, as some people can easily misinterpret this for pretense. So be polite, be grateful, be respectful, but remember that only God deserves your worship. No human being should be worshipped. Number three, acknowledge status, but don't make it your source. From time to time, we acknowledge those who have helped us. But one thing we always remind ourselves is, no king, donor, patron, pastor, imam, priest, or prophet is our source. Our source is God. Number four, keep your name. Many people have sold their souls in the name of forming alliances and synergies with helpers. It is not about doing anything to get what you want. It is not about depriving others of what they should rightfully access and crediting God for the provision. The hallmark of a vision is when you understand that your character defect in pursuing that vision demeans the vision itself. Please don't just get carried away by the success stories of people, be less interested in what they have achieved, but be more interested in how they achieved those things. No promise from any channel should make you lose your integrity and your self-worth. Finally, number five, focus on relationship building. 
To attract helpers, focus on consolidating your existing relationships and be open to new ones. You see, the saying is true that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Don't see people as a means to an end. Rather, see yourself as a solution provider who has been crafted to serve everyone you meet with the solution in your heart. Let me remind you that on Saturday the 20th of March 2021 by 3 p.m. West African time, we will be hosting the March edition of the Abiola Champ Mentorship Program tagged Made for More Champions. And our focus for the month of March is the magic of emotional intelligence. As you may know, this session is specifically curated for already registered members of Abiola Champ Mentorship Program. But if you want to discover the magic inside of you, if you want to gain insights for managing negative emotions such as anger, fear, shyness, and some other negative emotions you may experience from time to time, if you want to understand strategies for cultivating and managing positive emotions such as confidence, courage, hope, happiness, and more, and if you want to master how to deploy the right emotions for the right situations at the right time, you can register to claim one of the 10 available seats for this month. You only need to invest $50 or 20,000 naira for this transformational six-hour session. So you can send an email to us at hello at abiolachamp.com to receive payment details. It is important to remind you that you are a custodian of your destiny, you are a lion in your majesty, and you are a champion in your industry. Always remember, I love you, I believe in you, and I look forward to working with you so we can celebrate your back-to-back -back success together. Do remember to follow me on all social media platforms with the handle at Abiola Champ. Kindly also share this audio with your friends, your colleagues, and relatives. Till the next time, keep rocking your world like a champion.